Hey everyone! I just wanted to make a quick, impromptu demonstration on how I used to sequence attractions for Minecraft. Even though I finished my work on the Minecraft Disneyland project, I still love looking back at all the work that I did. Today, I'll be showcasing how I used Minecraft and Blender together to create an immersive attraction for people around the world to experience on a Minecraft server. I'll be using Indiana Jones and the Temple of the Forbidden Eye, a classic Disneyland dark ride and one of their best attractions, to showcase some of the process to you. The first step is always building. In order to sequence a ride, we have to have a base terrain to work with. In this example, you can see the various winding caverns inside of the Indiana Jones attraction. When originally making this attraction, we used blueprints found online that give a generally good idea of what the real attraction layout is. These blueprints are not official by any means, though, and sometimes we'll find something that isn't quite accurate in them. So, from there, I exported our layout with a tool called Mineways, and from there I created multiple layers so I can toggle between them, showing the first floor and the second floor separately or together. After the building is done, we need a model. For the Indiana Jones revamp that we did in 2023, we thankfully already had the original Indie Jeep model. It was made by Slinx, using a software called Cubic Studio, way back in, like, 2019, I believe? Maybe 2018? The Jeep's body and base are separated. When we used train carts in our older iterations of the attraction, we were able to do very basic movements to simulate the real ones, like curving to the right or left. But, using Blender, we can actually mimic any real movements the Jeep can make. So, with that made, we move on to step 3, which is animation. I imported the Jeep's two parts into Blender and created a ride vehicle out of them. From there, I of course imported the Minecraft build. I set up the camera as a child of the Jeep in order to follow it and see a ride-through simulation. I traced out the track using our Minecraft layout, which was already accurate to the ride given the blueprints. Using a ride-through video from LMG Vids, shout out to Chris by the way, he's awesome for always letting me use his videos as reference, I was able to time the Jeep's movements to the real attraction timings. So watch here as the Jeep launches itself out onto the bridge and slows down. If you've ever been on the real ride at Disneyland, you know exactly how that feels. After the animation is completely finished, and that is a lengthy process, we turn to Minecraft once again, where the animation is imported using a converter that one of our awesome developers named Matz created. With it imported, we can adjust the location and add the imported models to the now in-game animation. From there, I take to coding, where I use a templated script to insert various ride effects and timings. For example, I dictate when exactly a skeleton will jump out at the ride vehicle, or when the lights in that giant tunnel at the beginning start playing. After all that is finished, and each effect is joined to the animation, we have our finished product! Here's a few clips of how it looks in the ride itself. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this little behind the scenes glimpse at the process. Let me know if you liked this kind of video and want to see more. If you do want more, comment the topic you'd like to see me cover. I'll read every comment and try my best to make a video on the ones I really like. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you all later.